Magdeburg, Germany, Angela Merkel's CEU party scored a convincing win on Sunday in the final regional vote before the first general election in 16 years not to feature the veteran chancellor, giving a major boost to her conservative would-be successor. The CE and the new party chief Armin Laschet won around 36% of the vote in Saxony-Anhalt, first results showed, well ahead of the second place far-right party Afton 22.5%. This is essentially a sensationally good result, CE General Secretary Paul Zemiak said. The CE has won this election clearly. Merkel's party has been a dominant force in the former East German state of Saxony-Anhalt for decades, topping all but one edition of state elections there since reunification in 1990. But there had been jitters ahead of the vote as pollsters had foreseen a neck-and-neck -neck race between the CE and the anti-immigration aft, Rolf Brinkhaus, who heads the Conservatives' parliamentary group, said Sunday's clear result gives us tailwind for the national election. That is also a success for Armin Laschet, he added. Nominated as Conservative Chancellor candidate in April, Laschet inherited a series of problems including anger over the government's pandemic management and a corruption scandal involving shady coronavirus mask contracts. At Germany's last regional elections in March in the states of Rhineland-Palatinate and Baden-Württemberg, the CE suffered its worst ever results in both states. Laschet himself had also suffered from weak popularity, following damaging infighting within the Conservatives for the Chancellor candidate nomination. But the mood has picked up in Germany in recent weeks with the country's vaccination campaign gathering pace and large parts of the country reopening after months of shutdowns. Zemiak credited Laschet for the strong showing Sunday, underlining his participation in the campaign there along with Saxony-Anhalt State Premier Reiner Hasselhoff. The result, up from 29.8 in 2016, was the largest increase in vote share in a state election since the victory of the CE in North Rhine-Westphalia in 2017, a win that Laschet had secured for the CE. The voters in Saxony-Anhalt have given Laschet an invaluable gift. After his lousy start as chancellor candidate, it was clear that he would not be a man drawing euphoric optimism for his campaign. Rather, the motto was to sit it out, said Spiegel online. What he needs above all is calm, and now he has it, it added. Laschet has promised to maintain the CE as the force of the political middle ground, and had vowed not to work with the AFT. The AFT established a strong foothold in Saxony-Anhalt with 24% of the vote in 2016, having capitalized on anger over Merkel's decision to allow any wave of migrants from conflict-torn countries such as Syria in 2015. But the party has failed to improve on its previous score, despite recent moves to attract voters by styling itself as the party bashing Merkel's tough shutdown measures during the pandemic. For Greens leader Annalena Baerbock, whose party scored a disappointing result in Saxony-Anhalt with between 6 and 6.5 percent, the CU's success was down to voters seeking to block out the aft. Many people had voted for the CU because they did not want right-wing extremists in the government, she said. She admitted, however, that the Greens' showing was poorer than hoped, as she blamed the specific electoral landscape in Saxony-Anhalt for the performance. Though an improvement on 2016 is 5 percent, the result could puncture the Ecologist Party's momentum at the national level, already hurt by a series of gaffes in recent weeks. A block test why?